Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to another video. Jeez, it's been a long time since I got behind the camera, or in front of the camera, technically. One and a half weeks. We are in Lima, Lima, Peru. I'm actually sitting on our terrace balcony of our hostel to film this. So if you guys want to see the view, there it is. Um, we're sitting at like a high table right now. Just right here. There's nobody up here. I'm tired, that's a fact, but I'm sorry for one thing. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading. So I'm gonna give you an explanation of that and also what we're doing next now because I haven't released a video for over a week. And before that, I haven't released a video for over a week before that too. So you guys only saw one video in the past two weeks. I'm sorry about that. The Galapagos, if you didn't know, has an interest tax which I'm not sure, but it's multiple hundred dollars per person. So it's really expensive, so we wanted to pack in as much stuff as we could. So that means we were doing something all day, every day, like a tour or just going snorkeling. And I had literally no time to film it. I got one video out that was filmed the weekend before that, so that's why I said I haven't been on the camera for at least a week and a half. Uh, so if this video sounds worse, that's because of that. I actually put this video that I didn't get the time to upload in the Galapagos, so if you want to see that, leave a comment down below and the next video will be that. But it was really hard, the Wi-Fi was horrible there, and it just wasn't great because we were doing everything. I was also sick for a large portion of that time, again that made it really hard to film because I didn't have the energy, and unfortunately I didn't film any snorkeling in the Galapagos. What can you do? I'm sorry. Peru is pretty nice. We've been here for one day. This is the second day because I stupidly forgot to film yesterday. I'm sorry. Also, tell me how you're liking this video. It's kind of just where I get in front of the camera and just explain literally everything that's happening. Instead of just doing it in my normal vlogging, like I'm just casually walking around a city holding a camera like this. Tell me how you like that and I'll see if I can implement it into more videos if you guys do like it. But getting on to the topic of the future, next... Tomorrow, at 6 a.m., our bus tour leaves from the outside of the hostel, and we are going on a seven-day bus tour. We'll have Wi-Fi, don't worry about that. I will still be uploading a short video at the end of every day, but it will only be in our hostels that we stop in, and one night we'll have to sleep in the bus, so don't expect a video there. I'll tell you when that's happening. But the Wi-Fi, obviously, is not gonna be great. Lima, big city, obviously. Tons and tons of people live here. I'm not quite sure how many, but I know. Also, fun fact about Lima, it's the second driest city in the world. The first is Cairo, which we also hope to go to, so that'll be fun. But really bad Wi-Fi, so expect the videos to be like two minutes. The Wi-Fi here is great, so we've been doing like boatloads and boatloads of Netflix to just binge watch on the bus. I know, okay, I know it's only been two days, but I really, really like the culture here and what they do and stuff. I know we haven't been immersed in culture, but like, I like Lima, I like its style. Okay, that was just a bird, I don't know. I like Lima, it's cool, I like the way it flows, just everything's kind of laid back, except for the drivers. Crossing roads here is <laughs> fun. AKA, literally no drivers care about pedestrians. Like, yesterday we saw a bus driver almost hit a taxi because the bus driver was just barreling down the street at like 60 miles an hour, and the taxi pulled out in front of it and it had to like screech to a stop and turn around the taxi. And we were crossing the street behind the bus. It was pretty scary. Yeah. In Quito too, the taxi drivers, so the Quito has really mountains, right? It has steep streets, they're cobbled, and they're narrow. Taxi drivers are flying down them at 60 miles an hour, and we were we had to go in some taxis, so that was a fun experience. <laughs> that was terrifying. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this fairly short because, you know, I don't have any time to edit. This video has to be uploaded in a couple hours from now, so... <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, I mean, there's literally not much to stay. The first bus tour stop is gonna be a desert oasis town, which is literally just the lake in the middle of the desert. It's got town around it, which sounds insanely fun, and they've got dune buggies, sandboarding. Sandboarding is basically, it's a boogie board, but you go down a sand dune, which sounds insanely terrifying, yet insanely fun at the same time. So I'm gonna try to do that. 
But that's pretty much all there is to say. So with that being said, make sure you check out the blog. It's going to be linked in the description as always. I'm trying to get back to posting on there because while I was sick, I didn't film and I didn't update the blog because I'm weird like that. Anyways, back on topic. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe and make sure you slap the bell so you get notified when I upload. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. I'll see you next time.